Hi, today we have an unboxing. This is the GT Player GT-S04. And this is a racing wheel stand. So this is just the stand for right in front of you. It's cheap, only $60 shipped. That's what I paid, and maybe the price would go up. But there's, there's quite a few on the market, and this one seems sturdy, plus it folds all the way up flat. So I just couldn't say no. I would like to have a full cockpit, but you know, I spent all my money on my GPU. I, so I have a 4090, and I'm going to go chintzy on this, but that's cool. I have an older wheel. It's a Momo Logitech, and uh, I'm going to pair that with this, and we're going to see how it goes. So here's the unboxing and the assembly, and then I'll test it against my chair. box is nice, it has a cross hatch of tape on it, happy with it so far, almost don't want to open it, but you might not be happy afterward, I actually let it sit for a day because I felt good about the box, alright, so, where's that, oh, it's a noisy box, so, there we have it, GT player, Assembly instructions. Not too involved, not too bad. So far, it seems really sturdy and heavy duty for what it's doing. And there is a a shifter mount, but I'm not putting that on there. I'll move that to the side. So it does have a mount. Uh, I think it would be over here. Shifter mount. There's holes in it right here. So anyway, uh, the only thing I noticed about it that I didn't like is this pin. Uh, you're supposed to like undo it and then set it up there, and that's fine. But the pin's kind of it'll fall out, kind of. There's like a a pin and this should come out as a right angle but it doesn't so you can kind of pull it out and it'll it'll come out and cause your problems but you're only going to see that and I guess if you get used to it you could probably bend it a little bit more but uh, it's heavy duty I think I think it's a good a good stand for budget and for getting something Better than if you went out to your garage and started hacking something together, you know? It's like, for the money that you would spend in materials, you would be hard pressed to make something like this. And it weighs 20, 22 pounds. So that goes to show there's quite a bit of metal there. Has the feet, you just put the feet on and then you put these two in and then you screw this in and it's pretty much done. You can put the accessories on. They have caster wheels in case you want to move it around. And uh, they give you some strap. I don't know what that would be for. Maybe for the wiring so you can have it neat. But uh, I want to see how it works against my couch. So I'm going to put my wheel on it and see how it does. Here you can see I have a scratch. So. Just using the magic marker there again. There's one here too. Right next to that one. Setting coat on that one. There's more scratches than. But for 60 bucks, come on, people. Look at that. Good as new. Okay, so here we are in my lounge. This is where I play games usually, and uh, so far the GT player has not disappointed me, especially for the price. I gotta say, the price is really the main feature. There's a lot of different stands and cockpits on the market for all kinds of different prices, but you just don't see them for $60 delivered. So honestly, this is a lot sturdier than I thought it was gonna be. Like driving, when I was just driving, it felt just fine. The pedals are a little bit closer than what I would like, honestly. It would be nice if they were another six inches out and more vertical, but we know that those are out there, and this isn't it, so.
they you tend to kind of just rock your your ankle more than then kind of give the whole foot. It's kind of like when you're playing with a controller and you kind of go weird with your leg. It's kind of like that, except that's where the pedals are. So uh, it seems to work. So I have everything on here kind of temporarily, but it's it's on there tightly. And so I'm able to test it. Um, I guess I'll just give it a quick run with uh, F1 2023. Just wanted to say though, you know, if you bring this all the way in, I'm at I'm at arm's length, and there's enough. I was worried it was gonna be like way out there. I go a couple two three inches out, and the legs feel better, and this is just right where I want it. So, but yeah, let's get a little bit of F1 2023 going, just to prove it all out, and be sure. That this is up to the task. Okay, so here we are. We're going to be racing in Las Vegas. All right, here we are. What's up, guys? All right, let's give this steering wheel stand a test. Holding a solid 90. Oh, I missed the brake. I have some assists on. It's kind of baby settings. But I'm no F1 racer, so I like to make it feel like I am. What's nice in VR is you can put your head off to the side and see around that that stem in the middle there. What do you want to call it? Like a safety brace. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh. Take it out my front fender. <laughs> it probably would have fell off if I didn't have the assist on. Right now I'm having a hard time finding the brake. But like I said, I just set this up. Once I get used to it, I'm sure it'll be fine. You still stand on it. Yeah. The ultimate immersion. I love this straightaway. Oh, yeah, new guy. That's what's not fun about playing online is people will get you from behind like that and take you out. I love this corner right here. I love that. If I can get that break, I'm okay. You know, I can feel the stand when I tromp on things. I can feel it move in my hands a little bit. Uh, it doesn't really want to move on the floor. It has the pads on the bottom, rubber. So it doesn't really seem to want to move away from me. But I can feel my feet in my hands a little bit. Hmm. Cars faster, that can't be real. Cars 
might be a gentleman here. I do like the physics on the 23 here. It kind of does the forward and back shimmy, like kind of like in a F-150, you know. The way a truck kind of bobs forward and back like that. Well, these these cars do too, and they uh, increase that in this this year. You can actually feel it with the controller. I played with the controller once, and the force feedback in the controller was coming through, and it was feeling pretty cool. It's actually a little bit less feeling in this steering wheel than there is in the controller. I suppose you could get a butt kicker or some other transducer and, and really kick this up a notch. You could probably put it just right on the wheel stand. Obviously, once you get used to it all, you want to upgrade and spend another $10,000, but, you know, you could probably get a little bit more force feedback from a butt kicker either on the stand or on your chair or both. All right, we're cutting corners. Let me just switch. No. Uh, it's a good place to be, I gotta tell you. It's a good place to be. And on it. I always like that one. I'm standing on the brakes. This first? It can't be. Some wall. First place is always intimidating because you don't have anybody to pace. This game's gonna hold up. You know, I actually had a rant video about them not having VR for this. Now I'm playing in VR, and the the music's good too. They did some upgrades on the music. Granted, I'm running a 4090, otherwise I probably wouldn't get the frame rate I need. But I think you can use OpenXR and their reprojection on this. So if you can get half of a 4090, you could probably not see what I'm seeing right now. I could super sample up and still use it, but. This is at 3100 by 3100, and I have uh, G2, so I'm pretty well super sampled. Anything more isn't going to do a whole lot. Might not help me win. That's a turn right there. Oof. Yeah, spend a couple hours like this and you feel like you had a little vacation. In fact, you might get addicted to it a little bit. Careful. I have to make time for it. I like the stand. I would buy it again. If I didn't have this one right here and I needed one, I think I'd go out and buy this one. It fits what I do. It fits the space that I have, my finances at the moment. And the quality is pretty decent. Pretty good. It had a couple chips on it. The little pin's a little funky. It can fly out. Let it fall out of itself twice. 
but it's fine. Only Colin Firth could make something cooler, but it would cost more. Alright, number one. And that's the end of the race. We'll see you in Park Fermi. Yeah, full assist. You're welcome. Ah, that was a good race. Any race I win is a race I like. Well, well, Anthony Davidson, a resounding victory today. But what set them apart from the rest? I really feel the layout combined with the track temperatures. Well, I gotta say, the stand is working just fine. Like I say, might want to push the pedals out another four to six inches you might get an even better feel than what I have it feels a little cramped but I think I could probably even move those out maybe I had this just bungee strap down there I could probably put the bungee strap this way instead of this way and I could gain a little bit more and uh, I think it would feel even better but even just like this I was able to totally play I was having a hard time getting to that break I didn't know exactly where it was but now I'm starting to get a feel for it it's over here on the left and uh, yeah I mean this is not a really strong wheel, so if you have an older wheel, if you have a cheaper wheel, if you're under $300 for the full kit, this stand is going to be fine. Now, if you have all that new Double D, Fanatec, and the really strong Nano Newton, or whatever that is, uh, I think it might be possibly that your budget is going to be like everything else, where everything inflates. So, But for the wheel, the cheap wheel, and the cheap stand, this works fine. I would buy it again. I recommend it. I think it's great. In fact, I'll leave a link in the description. It's on Amazon, and maybe I'll find a link on eBay, and I'll uh, just leave a link in the description. I also sell on eBay, by the way, and if you'd like, you can just buy from me. I sell a lot of used items on eBay. I'll leave a link for that as well. I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. Other than that, I'm going to get going, play another game of F-123. I'll see you in the next one. Oh, <laughs>